What's up everybody? It's Jason Moore with the Save and Healthy Kids Wellness and Nutrition Department here for another uh, weekly highlight looking at three resources you can use in your after school program. Let's check it out. The first one is the Animal Trivia Questions. This is a YouTube video. Let's check it out and ask you different questions about animals. Who doesn't like animals? Who doesn't like a little quiz show, right? Perfect to do as a little transition activity or an icebreaker in your virtual classroom. So question one, you can see here, what is a group of lions? You have 10 seconds to answer that. Um, maybe when the time is up, you can pause it, ask students what they think, and then give them the answer. So the first one answer is pride. Everyone knows that. Pride rock, right? The Lion King. Number two, the slowest animal in the world. Is it a slug, a sloth, or a snail? If you don't know, check out the video. Do it with your students. You can find out the answer to number two, slowest animal in the world. There's eight more um, videos or questions just like that on the video. Next up, we have gratitude list from the catch curriculum. Let's take a look at those. So this is a really simple exercise. It's from the catch curriculum, the mindfulness uh, and stress management. If you need to sign up for catch, we have a deep dive video on how to sign up for catch.org. Check that out so you can learn how to access all the things on catch. Um, so why do we do gratitude lists? Well, research has shown that for every negative interaction we have during our day or what we perceive to be a negative reaction, it takes three positive um, experiences to counteract that one negative. We tend to dwell on the negative, nothing about the positive things. So this helps kids think about some of the positive things that happen throughout their day. Uh, things that make them smile, things they're grateful for, and things they can work on. So a really simple, easy exercise that can help students reduce stress and anxiety during their day and it can help you too. So I do them. I would highly recommend you try it out as well. Next up is also from the Catch curriculum. This is Limber Letters and Fitness. So in this activity, students, you're gonna call out a letter of the alphabet. You're just calling it out using a whiteboard. Um, and then you're gonna, so like students are gonna have 10 to 15 seconds to try to mimic that letter through a stretch. So if you called out B, students would stand up and try to form a B with their arms and their legs. Could be hard. Stretch it and maybe hold that for like 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. Next up, you're gonna do an exercise associated with whatever letter you called. So if you call the B, you can choose, students can either choose to do bicycles or booty kickers. So you have, as you can see here, a list of exercises, uh, two for each letter of the alphabet. Um, and you can play this as long as you want. You can go through the whole alphabet. Uh, you can have students either come up with some other activities that start with um, the letter you called out. A really simple game that, it, one, gets students stretching, working on flexibility, and two, um, working on their fitness by doing these exercises. And a little interaction, they can choose what one they want, or they can even make up their own, as long as it starts with that letter. So that has been our... Um, weekly video for three resource highlights. Check them out, we're gonna do some quick hits on each of those so you can dive a little bit deeper into them. Um, as always, links to these are down in the video description and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, thanks for listening, hope you try these out and give them a shot. I think your students will really like them. We'll see you next time.